Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Tracy Ann with another, just a review for you. I went out and bought the dry gouache uh, paint set, it's 12 of paint watercolor paints. I uh, just wanted to see what the paint would, would do and how it would perform. As well as I went and I got me a heat gun <laughs> because it took forever to get my paintings dry and I'm a little bit impatient sometimes. So the wash paint is, um, I like the vibrancy. Uh, it wasn't chalky or anything when I tested it or tried it. I do have a sample for you. Um, however, it took a while to to actually um, the, the to mix because the cakes were they were pretty solid. They were really good. They weren't chalking or anything like that. And um, I did find them these and use. They are vibrant when they're wet. Um, when they're dry, they're a little bit duller, but the vibrancy is still there for a watercolor paint. I also um, got a second package. I uh, got the Holo Top. H O L O T H E Holotop Micro Detail Paintbrush Set. Um, I wanted some detail brush like the 000 and the 0. So I tried this out. I only found one review that actually mentioned something about the Holotop. So I hope this may um, shed some light on someone uh, when you they want to purchase. So I did try. I tried the number four to do my project. Um, it's actually plastic. My name is plastic. The um, the base, the handle actually is plastic. Um, there is a metal. The shiny silver part is metal. The brush seems pretty stable, although I lost one hair. <laughs> yes, but I figured it might have been loose and not properly fixed inside the brush tip. So um, just kind of test to make sure that they are not loose but I did find them to be very pleasing there's a set it's a set of 10 um, and you get starting from triple zero that is really really cool there it's very hard to find these brushes if you are not gonna order from Amazon or if you're gonna try and get professional free there are more that are pretty more expensive I got these for 20 one twenty-two dollars plus tax. Yes, from Amazon, um, and that's uh, Canadian dollars. So they are pretty, in my opinion, expensive, but they're worth it because you get the size that you don't normally pick up anywhere else. And I'm hoping that these are pretty well made, so they go clean and they water and they function as they should. Um, all right, so I will be doing some projects with like that. Later to come. So the gouache, it took me a little while just to mix it because I guess it's probably brand new, so I gotta make sure that the water's soaking it. it. I didn't find any problem with it. I love the pen set too because I can take it off. That was my second attempt, and that was a fluke for me to realize that it actually came off. Like, oh my goodness, how am I gonna put it back? Then I realized that it wasn't broken. Um, it came with two brushes. That one is pretty, pretty stiff. I'm wondering if they glued it. I didn't wet it or anything, but I wanted to show you that it is so firm. So be careful, make sure it is um, soft and flexible before you actually start using it. The other one, the flat brush was pretty okay. Um, however, I did not use any of those. All right, I did like the pan. It's plastic, um, but it's a hard plastic, so I hope that will keep the, uh, the, the palette pretty, um, um, dry uh, until my next use and so forth but even though I wet it and soak it uh, just to get the paint moving it dried up pretty okay afterwards and ready for storing and I didn't find any problem um, with the, the cakes the gouache to store them after using them all right so I do hope this will help someone so the the heat gun was pretty good. I had no problem. I didn't have any electrical problem with that heat gun either. It's the E T E P O N. I'm pronouncing it at pun. Uh, heat gun. It's also used for crafting, like if you want to do jewelry crafting, uh, melting plastic, and so forth. But overall, 
Thanks to you, these products are pretty okay. All right, thank you. Hope this review helped.